and welcome to WPHS Magazine. I'm Jaden Cullen. I'm Rory Risk III. And I'm Leighton Covington. Hey Rory, have you taken any selfies? Yes, they were amazing. I heard Allie take some pretty bad selfies in Zephyrin's segment. Hashtag selfie. But first, let me take a selfie. Alright, whatever, Allie. I don't even know why I try. I could definitely take a better selfie than that. Like, seriously. She she doesn't even know my life or my story. I should put this on Instagram. Trust me, you don't want to put that on there. Okay, do you guys understand? <laughs> Seriously, Allie, you didn't have the apple bottom jeans. You didn't have the boots with the fur. I'm just tired of watching you take selfies all day. Like, seriously, how long do I have to sit here and watch this? How many selfies do you get a day, Allie? One. One selfie. How many have you taken? Seven selfies in the past seven seconds. I cannot handle this. Allie, I literally can't even handle this right now. These selfies should not go on Instagram. They should not go on Facebook. They should not go on Twitter. They should just go straight to the trash. Ugh. Keegan just keeps staring at me. He's so gross. How did he even get in here? Allie, you didn't say that in your mind. You said that out loud. Second of all, this is a public school. Anybody can get in here. Wow, how did he read my mind? What? Uh, no, I, I didn't read your mind. Uh, bad at taking selfies and this. Allie, go home. <laughs> How are you guys even doing this? You see, when you apply selfies to Haley's law of elasticity, you make teleportation possible. Um, actually, it's Snapchats. I still don't really get it. Ugh, it doesn't matter. But first, let me take a selfie. Geez, those selfies were really bad. And how did she get in there? It's the power of the selfie. This past week we've had three extravagant activities here at Perm. Choir, speech, and track. Let the games begin. Back at the track. Hashtag 
compression is the pressure of air bouncing around inside your chest as mad air keeps seeping in, even though I don't want to breathe again. Best day ever. I actually got my grandson to want to spend time with me. Hashtag Grandma Sway. <laughs> Good luck to all future activities. Now on to a present issue. Today, Matt is going to show what could happen if you don't read the terms of agreement when surfing the web. Dude, did you just not read that before you agreed to it? No. Well, did you hear about what happened to Mikey? Uh, so what's the call after today? Oh, well, it's this new app everyone's downloading. You have to get it. Oh. Let me see. Excuse me, is there is there a Michael Thompson here? Uh, yeah. Did, did you just download an app? Uh, yeah, it's actually kind of fun. It, you agreed to the term of agreements, right? Well, yeah. I did you read paragraph 36? No, I didn't. It states right here that we have the right to take your kidney. I need you to lay down on the table here, and we need to take your kidney right now. You gotta be kidding me, right? You, you agreed to it. You read it, right? That's bull. That gives me quite the eebie-jeebies. I agree. Prom is coming up at Perm High School, and some people are still looking for dates. Chris gives you guys some tips how to pick up a girl for prom. Is that recording? Yeah. Okay, we can just, just edit this out later. Yep. Oh, hi. My name's Chris Knutson. Here's a book full of everything you know about women. Everything you know is jack squat compared to what I'm about to teach you. You know that special day is coming up. Prom. The day every girl dreams about and every guy just kind of lets happen. You might be nervous asking a girl, but gentlemen, if you pay attention to this video, I'm going to teach you my five steps to asking that girl to prom. Step one, don't be nervous talking to girls. Remember, girls are people too, so there's really no reason to be nervous to talk to them. Oh, hey! Prom. <laughs> Step two, be honest with her. Remember, girls love honesty above anything else. Oh, hey, does this make me look fat? <laughs> yeah. And if that doesn't work, try impressing her with your extensive knowledge of marine biology. Oh, hey, does this make me look fat? Like a whale. Step three, talk about things that she's interested in, not just things that you find interest with. So, this card, this is, this is a trap card, and what you have to do is you lay it face down and your opponent will never know what's gonna happen. This is probably one of my strongest... It's my... Pinterest? Step four, try asking your buddy to ask her out for you. Sometimes other guys are better at talking to girls than you, and that's okay. Yes, yeah, so, so prom next week, I got my tux, Yeah, right? yeah, I got my dress. What mm -hmm. color? It's blue. Oh, I got a blue tie. Oh, awesome. awesome. Are, are, you, are you going with anyone, by chance? Would you like to go with me? Yeah, I would love to. Just make sure your friend's not more attractive than you, or she'll go to prom with him. Step five, if all of that fails, just be straight up honest with her and tell her that you want to take her to prom. If she really cares for you for who you are, she'll definitely say yes. Look, I have something to say. Yeah? Will you go to prom with me? No. 
know. What? Join me next week for my presentation on the five steps to getting out of the friend zone. You can't. Now there will be more couples at this year's Masquerade Prom on May 3rd. This was WPHS Magazine. I'm Rory Risk III. I'm Jaden Cullen. And I'm Lane Covington. Thanks for watching.